Hi friends, welcome to Spirits Esotero. This is episode two of War of the Roses. So if you missed episode one, that is okay. This is all about, <clears throat> excuse me, my friends who have been in long-term relationships for reasons other than love. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but Spirit has messages for all of my friends who are in those long-term loveless relationships. And when I say loveless, I mean there's no passion, there's no desire for each other, um, but there is companionship, there must be things in common. So, <clears throat> I, as usual, we're going to do three readings. I will have the timestamps below and we are going to go ahead and start off by asking Spirit to please provide divinely guided messages for my friends at the time that they are viewing this timeless message, War of the Roses, about their long-term loveless relationship. What message or messages the Spirit has? Okay. So that's going to be group or reading one, sorry. Reading two, and I'm going to take reading three right off the top. All right, thank you, Spirit. So for reading one, we have Between Worlds. So, Between Worlds is going to be accompanied by this gorgeous pink or coral colored rose. Kind of goes with the flamingo. Reading two is flexible. I like it. And reading two is going to be accompanied with this blue rose. So flexible in the blue rose. Reading three, chop wood. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chop wood is with this yellow rose. So I will go ahead and lower the camera onto the desk so you can take another gander before I start the shuffling and drawing process. So we have Between Worlds with the Coral Pink Rose. Flexible with the Blue Rose. And Chop Wood with the Yellow Rose. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the shuffling and drawing. You are more than welcome to skip right to the reading that resonates with you the most. The timestamps will be down below. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get my card shuffled. So, we are gonna start with, and actually end with, <coughs> the Wild Unknown Tarot. Spirit, would you please provide divinely guided messages for my beautiful friends who are watching this timeless reading. At the time that they are watching this reading, this shall resonate, hopefully, with my friends. This is about long-term relationships that are not passionate or really desirable. The couples are content, but there's not much love. What's going on with the War of the Rose couples? Alright, 
So I want to do, <clears throat> excuse me. Four for each reading spirit. Same intention. Please provide messages for the highest good only, my friends, regarding their long-term relationships. If you've noticed, <clears throat> if you've watched me do my shuffling and drawing process, then you will have noticed that I don't wait for cards to fly out. Um, I'm just one. I gently shuffle and then spirit guides me to the cards that I should pull out. Same intention, spirit. Please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for my friends who are involved in long-term relationships. This is War of the Roses, episode two. Will we have energies coming in from our episode one? Or will these be new energies that are needing guidance and messages from the spirit. not least and actually it's going to be first is my wisdom oracle where's my tucker bee in the background if you can hear it spirit same intention could you please provide divinely guided messages for the highest good only for my friends at the time that they are viewing these readings regarding their long-term relationships. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have the shuffling process and dealing process is done. Yellow rose is three, excuse me one second, thank you. Sorry about that, got a phone call in the middle of a reading. This is for reading two. And if you have stuck with me during my boring shuffling and dealing process, thank you so much. And we shall begin. Thank you, Spirit. Friends for reading one, War of the Roses, episode two. You have selected between worlds and this gorgeous pink coral wreath. Rose, I'm thinking wreath. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be one of those readings. <clears throat> so of course, between worlds, means that you have recently closed something or something has closed on you 
and you are headed towards a new beginning, but you are in between what's ended and what is about to begin. You also have perception. And that is an emerald that is shining in that card. And of course, emerald is very grounding. Um, it's a it's of the heart chakra, and perception is all in how you see things. So you have the Ace of Swords. So a new beginning is opening up for you or will be opening up for you. Possibly for both you and your loved one. Your significant other. Queen of Cups. All right. So you, my beautiful friend who is checking out reading one. You are someone who is mature, not necessarily just in age, but your emotions. You have a grasp of your emotions and you can also help others um, guide them and provide them with information. You are right full of intuition as well. And so, yeah, so you are in a position that does accept, I want to say that, that you do accept feelings of others and you help them deal with those feelings. Let's keep going. So you've got the full. So recently you have been in a very happy-go-lucky kind of a mood. Kind of like you take things as they come. Everything just rolls right off of you. And the King of Pentacles. All right. So in this position with the King of Pentacles, this could be a reflection on your recent past or your uh, near future. So we're going to keep going and find that out. But the King of Pentacles generally is a very good card. This could be your significant other we shall continue reading to find out the full again with the mystical medley's deck so i'm feeling like this is your significant other and both of you have that whimsical everything rolls off of you kind of attitude so you both are in a good position this might be my power couple coming back maybe not but with the queen and the king here I automatically think that you two really have your stuff together the only thing really lacking is passion and desire for each other two of cups so there is a contract between the two of you you are kind of in it to win it you both do have each other's back when it comes to your emotions you're you're realistic about each other's emotions you do communicate i think your perception from both of you is so far it's a good one between worlds so, Ten of Swords. <laughs> All right, so this could be. It's kind of. Oh my goodness, this is closing a chapter. And. This is actually how you are viewing. Your relationship is, is you're done mentally. You're over it. So maybe you've been really analytical about it. And you finally come to terms that your relationship is what it is. I'm sorry, that's my Tucker B. 
Seven of Pentacles. So your significant other does feel that both of you have put a lot of work into your relationship with the Pentacles. <clears throat> it is about earthly things. It's about um, growing, planting seeds and growing. It could be about your home, your finances, medical stability as well. But the two of you, your, your significant other feels like the two of you have put a lot of work into this relationship and they're watching things grow. And we have the Son of Pentacles. So this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles and Spirit is saying that a message is going to be coming in probably with the pentacles. Usually pentacles could be gears, but I'm thinking where you only got one and it is the messenger of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, son of pentacles, I'm sorry, but all of the above, that something is going to happen within the next year you're going to be receiving a message maybe from your significant other or maybe from someone else concerning your relationship and you have the seven of swords so spirit says that if you don't take this new beginning that's being offered to you to rethink things and maybe go with your whimsical attitude continue that um, maybe your emotions that you have had in check are not gonna be um, you do seem to have your emotions in check but with this I kind of feel like you have been living in your head and not really communicating with your significant other on how you feel. Your significant other, I feel, in this relationship is more grounded than perhaps you have been. And maybe your significant other isn't necessarily the fool. Perhaps you have been acting the fool. Maybe not. Maybe I've got this turned around. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, so beautiful viewer for the Between Worlds. You are definitely over your relationship and you're not communicating that with your significant other who has the perception that you two have been working very hard and keeping things grounded. You will struggle if you don't come to terms and have this communication with your significant other or they don't approach you and maybe that's where spirit's saying sometime within the next year you're going to need to have this conversation so while you may feel like you're done with things with this ten of swords spirit is saying you have a new beginning you have a new opportunity to rethink things maybe things aren't as bad with your significant other as you think they are and and you should continue or if they are be prepared to have your plan in motion and then communicate that with your significant other i certainly hope things work out for you dear friend for reading one between worlds you definitely are between worlds and you can definitely get to brighter skies and warmer weather if necessary but yep yeah, so there you have it please let me know if reading one resonated with you by commenting below also i would appreciate a like and if this may have resonated with someone that you know, or if you want to want your significant other to see this, significant other to see this, to maybe start your line of communication, feel free to share it. Um, until we meet again, 
have a wonderful evening and good luck to you. Thank you. Bye. All right, beautiful viewers, if you are sticking with me during the readings, or in between the readings, I should say, thank you. And if you are not, that is certainly okay if you just skipped ahead and happen to hear that. That's perfectly fine. All right, so I don't want to waste any more of your valuable time. So, thank you, Spirit. Friends for reading, too. Thank you so much. You have decided to check out Flexibility with this blue rose. So let's see what messages Spirit has for my couples in reading two. War of the Roses, episode two. Two and two. Hmm. Enlightenment. All right. So let's hope that that is why you are here to seek spiritual guidance on your War of the Roses relationship. So, relationship that you, you may love each other, but there's no passion or desire or affection. Um, there's just other reasons that you're still together. So, we have the High Priestess, or excuse me, the High Priest. Yes, get it right, Krista. High Priest with Enlightenment, I'm not surprised. Eight of Pentacles. All right. So either you or your significant other are working very hard and trying to stay grounded. The shadow side. So the shadow side. So one or both of you perhaps are making choices now or in your very recent past or it could be that you are actually thinking about it or you may be suspect or your significant other suspects you. So cheating is on the brain and we're going to just go from there. So you've got the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> now this is either going to play a part of your recent past or it could be a help for your near future. We're going to see how the Nine of Wands plays into it. This is holding someone or something at bay and standing ground for what you have going on. Um, with the wands, you're very driven, you're very motivated, you're also very business oriented, so that might be one of the reasons why you and your significant other are staying together. Um, so let's keep going just to see. So we have the Three of Pentacles. There is some collaboration going on between you and your significant other. Perhaps there is a third party involved. Not necessarily anything to do with the love portion of this reading. The third party could be relative to a business relationship where the wands are business or it could be relative to the Eight of Pentacles, which is the working card, and so not only is or are one of or both of you working hard at this relationship, but maybe you're also hard workers outside of the home, and this could also be one or both of you are seeking either medical guidance or could be spiritual guidance. Um, you 
could be seeking marriage counseling. You could also be seeking, seeking excuse me. Um, gosh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. You could be seeking financial advice, maybe planning ahead if things maybe don't work out with this relationship where one or both of you may be acting outside of the relationship. And that's how I'm going to put that for now. The world. All right. So you, my beautiful friend who is checking reading two out for War of the World, or War of the War of the Roses, episode two, reading two. You have a very good outlook right now, actually. And perhaps part of that is your spirituality that you do have going on. But you are feeling very good about things. Um, that could be confidence. It could be that you foresee in your near future that you're going to have closure with this circle. Um, but you, your attitude is really good right now. So let's keep going because I like to keep going on a good note too. King of Pentacles. Others perceive you and perhaps this relationship um, as being in a very strong position out of all of the kings the king of pentacles is actually the strongest you've got all the grounding going on you're very mature now it doesn't mean that you're older but you are very mature minded you <laughs> have your act together with work your finances your home life um, people perceive you as you having it together. So this doesn't necessarily mean with the king that you are male or female. It could just be that they see a masculine um, energy where you have your act together. Less emotions and more action is how people perceive you or perhaps your significant other sees you. The Six of Cups. So this is a card of youthful reflection. So Spirit is saying that you maybe should take time and reflect on what your actions have been throughout your relationship. Not just your actions, but your significant other's actions and maybe either the actions of the third party that's involved here or just, again, your own or your significant other. Okay. Spirit says that in the end, you have the Ten of Cups accompanied with the Four of Pentacles. So, spirit is gonna. Spirit says that you're gonna want to hold on to what you have. Um, this third party entity. I, this may have something to do with the choices that you and or your significant other have made, or maybe this is counseling about the choices that you and your significant other have perhaps made because here you have the high priest which that is generally someone that you would go to for counseling and of course enlightenment would be the open communication between you and your significant other flexible you two do care about each other you are willing to work with each other to continue this relationship and spirit says keep doing what you're doing um, continue the communication continue the good reflection um, because we all want to see everyone happy and while 
maybe some poor choices or not so good choices have perhaps been made the communication that you two have and the hard work that you two have put together in your relationship is just making that a very strong strong relationship and spirit says keep doing what you're doing because everyone does see that you are doing things right and you feel right that is something spirit is feeling from you the energy coming in so hold on to what you have and you're going to be shining. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did not, please check out readings one or three. Perhaps pieces from each reading will tell your story. Please like this video, comment on this video, and share this video if you know someone that this video may help out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. Until next episode three for War of the Roses, have a good time. Thank you. Bye. All right, I'm not going to lie. I was a little skeptic about how this was going to turn out with the choices made and then the the three of pentacles where there is always a collaboration, but I think that my couples for reading two have their life in order and know what they want. And it's all good. And if you've been sticking with me between the readings, thank you so much. And if you are coming in and not following timestamps, that's certainly okay. I just want to say that it doesn't matter if you use the timestamps or follow the whole thing or just fast forward. Whatever works for you, sweeties. So with that said, thank you, Spirit. Friends for reading three, thank you so much for joining us. This is War of the Roses, episode two, reading three, and you have been drawn to chop wood and this beautiful yellow rose. And of course, chop wood is all about getting it done, doing what needs to be done to make things right in your world. Don't procrastinate, just do it. And of course, yellow is a very joyful color and it's also intellectual. It's also very enlightening. So with that said, let's move on to your chakra wisdom oracle card and you have trickery. So maybe somebody in reading three is gonna be enlightened about some trickery that's going on. Let's check it out. I had to turn all these over in readings one and two. So you've got the Ace of Wands. All right, so a new beginning is being offered. Usually with the Wands, of course now the Wands are fire signs, so we're looking at my fellow Sages, Aries, and Leos. And the Wands is also about Intuition, drive, motivation, careers, business. So let's keep going to see if we can fine tune what that new beginning is for you. The magician. Okay, well that's fitting with trickery. All right, so you, my beautiful friends for reading three are either suspecting someone of something or you are suspect. So with that said, let's keep going. And remember, <clears throat> regardless of how this reading flows, I, your spirit, judge. We are simply bringing in the messages Secrets are safe here. You don't need to comment, but I would appreciate a like. 
Um, you are also welcome to send me an email if you want more details to your reading. But let's keep going. The Emperor. So you have two trump cards within the first three card pulled for your reading. And this one is the Emperor. So there's definitely a lot of enlightenment, intuition, spirituality going on. Again, you have an opportunity coming up or perhaps you're opening up an opportunity depending on which side of the fence you are. Are you suspecting or are you suspected of trickery and doing some magical artwork? Because the magician is very intuitive. Um, generally, the magician is an excellent card, an excellent character, because you <clears throat> can explain things, show things, to others to assist them in perhaps their pathways, their journeys, or you know, maybe they're closed minded and you have a way, you have a charm about you, an approach on how to explain how things really are. And and I mean that sincerely, not that you are trying to trick people generally. So again, the Magician, for me, is a very positive card. In this reading, because of the trickery that we pulled from the Heart Chakra, either you or your significant other is feeling that you're being betrayed somehow, some way. Maybe not by you or, or the other. Maybe by someone outside of your relationship, but it's weighing heavily on you. Um, with the Emperor, again, very intuitive. The Emperor is like the head of all the kings. Okay, so they are kind of in the same position as the Magician, only they don't have necessarily the same approach and I want to say empathy maybe that the magician has so with the Emperor I think someone is trying to head off this trickery so let's keep going to see if you my beautiful viewer are the magician or are you the Emperor the High Priestess mm. Alright, okay. This high priestess can either <laughs> can either make or break you at this point. Not you, but the one that is doing the trickery. Because this beautiful woman is or feminine, however you want to take it, however it resonates. I do male female, that's how I roll, okay? Is the way it is. So, this beautiful woman has some answers for you. This could be someone who is part of the past, messing with the magician, or it could be someone who's going to help you or your significant other with the situation in the near future. So, let's keep going. Two of Wands. All right, so we have another set of wands here. And in this position, you have been looking at options. <laughs> or your significant other has been looking at options. Okay, so we're still up in the air. Could be both of you who could be looking at options and maybe you both think that you're pulling the wool over each other's eyes. But your relationship is definitely one of not sincerity. Sorry, I'm gonna call it like I see it. Your relationship is definitely others for other things other than love. And maybe you do care about each other, you know, as in the way of you don't want either one to get hurt. 
you don't want to see one another um, fail in life. You just don't want to see one another anymore. Um, I feel like at least one of you, if not both, have been in recent times and I'm thinking because of the wands, I'm going to say recent weeks to a month, within the last week to, week to a month, one or both of you have been looking at other options. With this world here, you are definitely, you're in a stable position. One or both of you, you're, I mean, you could... Because one of you is the emperor, one of you is the magician. Both of you have access to finances. You're grounded. Again, there are all four elements. A new beginning with drive. This, I don't feel that this is business related, but it could be. When we're not done, I'm not going to eliminate that because where it is wands coming up here and even though the broomstick is not a wand it's closest to the wand that you can get because of the stick and it is chop wood it is about work so it doesn't necessarily mean physical work it could be work on your relationship or work on a plan to get the heck out of this relationship so let's keep going there's several options here and I'm really sorry. This is kind of an, a bummer of a reading, but it is what it is. I, I shed the messages. So Six of Wands, more wands again. But Six of Wands is reflecting victory. And this is in your near future. This is the near future card for me. Maybe the wands are representative, again, of, of a fire sign. Could be a fellow Sag, Aries, Leo. You could be a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. Both of you could be a fire sign. Oh, boy. Oh, boys. All right. Five of swords. So, finally, kind of something other than wands but definitely a struggle others see you and this could be your significant other seeing you you are definitely having maybe a mental breakdown you've been living inside of your head uh, perhaps you've just been analyzing your options and you are really having an internal mental struggle but this is all about the minds. Now, of course, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I kind of feel strongly towards Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be that of an air sign. It could be a Gemini or a Libra. Um, with the five of swords and the clouds and this giant kind of head up in the air. I feel like this is an Aquarius, but again, I could be wrong. This could be you or your significant other struggling in your own mind or maybe together. Maybe you're both trying to come up with a getaway plan or, or maybe a plan to make things work. Let's keep going because we've got three more cards and I may be pulling additional ones for y'all because yeah. So Spirit is saying here that you have the Ten of Pentacles and with the Ten of Pentacles, you definitely have the opportunity to continue a very fruitful life. Very grounded with your home, your finances, even love. So that could mean that 
you stick it out and the two of you find a new spark within the two of you or you are both going to be exiting. But when you do, you both could still be happy. Again, the, the wand could still be business oriented. Let's get through this. So I don't, your time is valuable and I'm sorry, I'm just kind of really analyzing everything. So here you have the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is receiving and sharing your, it could be your intuition, it could be your finances, it could be your home, your heart, uh, it could be your thoughts. Um, with the pentacles, it is the grounding, again, grounding element. This could also be representing with all the pentacles that maybe one or both of you are going to end up being involved with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or again, it could just be that you're both grounded and you are sharing, maybe sharing information. Maybe you're going to go through counseling. So the Daughter of Wands is the Page of Wands. And that is someone who is going to be doing some research intuitively as, as well as kind of checking out project or career options. So I feel like maybe... You two are together because of a business that you've built together. And one or both of you are really trying to outthink the other and get out of this relationship. And Spirit is saying that as long as you do your homework, and you get all the answers and you do actually seek guidance. You're diligent in your homework. Both of you will be able to come to terms and actually perhaps separate. Or again, through a discussion when you receive information and give information, share information, that is communication, the two of you could actually stop living inside of your head and struggling and perhaps the two of you could make it work between you two. And don't be playing games, don't play mind games with each other. Oof. Okay. So that's my advice to you, my beautiful friends, for reading three. If this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Um, hit that notification bell so you know when the next War of the Roses episode three is going to be posted. Until next time, you all take care. I appreciate all the subs and loves. See ya. Bye.